Celebrating Navratri is so important for everyone as it is not just a religion or a religious holiday but a celebration of womanhood of the woman of everyone celebrating and remembering for the nine days within each of us the energy that is there the energy that has to be activated to be a devi for each of us to know the strength as a daughter imaman's daughter she is vishnu's sister she is shiva's wife but above all who is she she is adi shakti para shakti janani the greatest mother of all the giver of life and the destroyer of ignorance so let us celebrate nine days of navratri and all its meanings together and all the planets that are associated with this wonderful goddess namaskar and shubh navratri devi kavacham प्रथम शैलपुत्री द्वितीय ब्रह्मचारिणी तृतीय चंद्रघंटे कूष्मांडे चतुर्थक पंचम स्कंदमाते कायनीति सप्तम कालरात्री महागौरी चाष्टम नवम सिद्धिदात्री च नव दुर्गा प्रकीर्ति उत्ता ब्रह्मण वन महात्मना Namaskar and wishing all our viewers a shubha navratri the first day of the festival of marunga as she appears in the first form shaila putri or parvati here she is seen in her beautiful orange robes she who rides the nandi bull and has the trident in her right hand and the lotus in her left she has the beautiful crescent moon on her forehead to adorn it in this form shaila putri the daughter of himavan lets us all as this is the first year of navratri as she arrives and is always seated on a bull for navratri's first day this year she arrives on a horse tura and that is very much a board like structure when you see the baby as she smiles gently the devotees of our jasmine class to her and she blesses on the first half now which is the first day today she is also known before this form as the daughter of daksha as sati where she immolated herself as her father insulted lord shiva and she in a rage destroyed herself and took the birth as the daughter of parvati the himalayan goddess in this form of shaila putri she is worshiped by all the deities as she destroyed the demon karkasu who used to destroy nature around her. She resides within us the Muladhara chakra for all yogis which is the base chakra and as we meditate through the nine days and let the chakra and energies 
Christ, we pray to Shaila Putri as Om Namah Shaila Putri Namah Om Devi Shaila Putri Namah I offer you all my prayers towards Shaila Putri. Om Devi Shaila Putrai Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Shaila Putri Rupena Samasthita Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha Namaskar and as we celebrate Dvitiya, the second day of Navratri, we celebrate Brahmacharini, the goddess, in the form known as Brahma Charini, one who resides in the absolute self universe, Brahman, Brahma Charini, she who walks in the forest barefoot. She who has in her left hand the water pot or kamandalu and in the right hand the rosary as she focuses and prays with her gentle smile on her face. She is known as one who wanders in the forests and the mountains as an ascetic just like Lord Shiva as she wanted to be united and married to him. She had taken penance for several years to live like Shiva, the great ascetic, and when her mother saw how frail she had become, she said, Uma, and in that way she also was known as the goddess Uma. She also had the name Aparna, one who would stop eating fruit, leaves, and finally lived on air, and so she became known as Aparna. Brahmacharini, the story goes that Lord Shiva, when in deep meditation, was woken up because the god of love, Kama, pierced his heart with an arrow. He saw Parvati as Brahmacharini, and having fallen in love with her, he tried to dissuade her from marrying him, but she was firm in her resolve. Lord Kama, of course, was reduced to ashes by Shiva when he opened his third eye in rage. Brahmacharini is known for one having a very strong will and she rules and controls the planet Mars and those with Mangal Dosh pray to her so that all their problems are removed. The offering to her is the beautiful jasmine flower and she is also offered honey and sugar on this day which is the second day of Navaratri. She is also ruling the second chakra, the Swadishthan, which controls all the fear and she gives one self-confidence. She is the path of austerity, penance and adorns herself in white robes. To that Devi, Om Namaha Brahmachari Nyaya Namaha. May you all have a beautiful second day of Namaha. Om Devi Brahmacharini Namaha. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Brahmacharini Rupena Samastata Namastasya 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 Namo Namah Namaskar Today we celebrate the Devi in her third form as Chandra Khanta this Devi wears the beautiful color red on this day for her devotees. 
She has ten arms, and as she holds the trident, the bow and arrow, the mace, the lotus, the kamandalu, she has the abhaya mudra and the vidya mudra blessing. She rides none other than the tiger. She is the tigress who is riding instead. She is controlling all her emotions as we need to control our emotions depicted by the Vahana, the Tigress. The Manipur Chakra, known as the Jewel Chakra, right in our solar plexus is what she controls. The Chandra Ghanta Devi of the Navratri's third day controls emotions and yet she gives confidence. She controls fear and says one should control one's emotions and have discipline. It is believed by story that here she is, the wife of Shiva, and as he approached her home in his most fierce form, her parents were shocked and said, is this the groom? So Chandra Ghanta then adorned herself in her most beautiful form, known as the golden colored one in this form, with the third eye always open, a Ghanta, or in the crescent moon shaped on her forehead and with all those ten weapons she rode the tiger. Seeing that beautiful form of hers, Shiva immediately changed his form for the Kalyanam or wedding and made himself equal to his beautiful spouse. This beautiful goddess controls the planet, the moon rules it and within that, Chandra Ghanta gives her devotees immense blessings as she holds her ten arms with the Abhaya Mudra, the Vidya Mudra and all her weapons, riding none other than the Tigress. We offer her the beautiful lotus flower on this day and we also offer her Kheer or a kind of rice pudding. This is a Devi controls the senses and right the solar plexus where energy is given and as she is one of the most powerful goddesses it shows us that women have different ways of exuding their power and in this beautiful form she only shows her rage when provoked otherwise she remains gentle to all the deputies and on this third day of Navratri Maybe invoke Chandra Ghanta Devi and pray to her in a simple mantra Om Devi Chandra Ghanta Namaha May she bring good health and peace to everyone Om Devi Chandra Ghanta Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Chandra Ghanta Rupena Samastita Namastasya, 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 Namo Namaha. Om Devi Kushpanandaye Namaha. On the fourth day, which is Chakurti. We offer our prayers as in jasmine flowers to the Devi Pushpananda, who is adorned in blue. And on this day, she has eight weapons in her hand, right from the Japamala, the Amrit, the Kamandalu, and the Abhaya Mudra, with which she blesses her devotees. This form of the goddess. She gives a very gentle smile and with this gentle smile it is believed that the entire universe which was submerged in darkness, it rises up and there is brightness because from the depth of darkness comes the radiating light which is the goddess Kushmananda as she rides the tiger. In this beautiful form, the goddess is ruled by Brihaspati, which is the planet Jupiter, for her wisdom. And she controls 
the ever bright sun surya devta because she resides within and inside the sun because she is shakti she is energy and as she enters the surya or sun she brings out all her light and showers it around removing darkness and ignorance and giving all her devotees the bright light she resides in the heart or the anahata chakra which beats forever and with this energy of shakti durga the pushmananda which is known as kusha meaning little pushpa which is warmth and energizing and mananda is the egg so she emerges one from who emerges light from the cosmic egg to this goddess we bow down to as we offer her sweets on this very day and hope to give please lots of energy to everyone and pleasure as she rides on her tiger om devi pushpanandre namaha on this day i know that women like the devi kushmananda are there to be in the center of their families giving the energy the shakti that is required being within the sun inside the energizing glow and giving energy out to the family on this day we celebrate women in all its forms in all her beauty and in all her energy and shakti may the goddess bless everyone om devi kushmandaya namaha ya devi sarva bhuteshu ma kushmanda rupena samastata namastasyai 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 namo namaha Namaskar Panchami on the 5th day of Navratri we celebrate Skanda Mata she who sits with her son Skanda holding the lotus in two of her hands and the abhaya mudra or blessing in her fourth hand she rides the vahana the lion with her son Skanda who has six heads as he is the son of parvati and durga yet was brought up by the kritikas or the six together devis who nurtured him hence he came upon the name kartikeya but skanda mata is mother of skanda the god who rides the peacock and as he rides the peacock He is a warrior. Skanda Mata, who is riding her lion, is also very much the war image. She, who is known in this form as to being Shubhra, which is her description, extremely white and fair. She adorns yellow robes and is bright like the sun. because she is agni fire the element of fire is what skanda mata is she rules on this day the chakra known as vishuddhi which is a chakra that controls the sense of smell breathing and all elements of taste around us the planet that is ruling skanda mata is bud wisdom which is mercury and she is offered lotus flowers on this day as well as lentils moong dal vadas are given as well as bananas so to this goddess known as kandamata who sits with her son on her lap 
on a lion, yet on a Padmasan, with the lotuses and the Abhaya Mudra, we bow down to her on this fifth day to grant us strength, energy, and to get rid of ego. Skandamata Panchami, fifth day. Om Devi Skanda Mata Yai Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Skanda Mata Rupena Samastata Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha Namaskar and as we approach the sixth day Shashti or Navratri, we offer our prayers of Marigold and honey to the goddess Katyayani. One of the most beautiful forms of this goddess, as she's described, the dark skinned one, Syamala Rupini, Simhavahini Maheshwari, wife of Shiva, she who rides on the lion as her mount, she who enters the battlefield because all the energies of the gods were combined and she was created. As Katyayani was created, each of the gods offered her their weapons. Brahma gave her his rosary and kamandalu. Vishnu gave her his conch and the discus. Shiva gave her his trident and Vishwakarma, the creator of the universe, gave her his battle axe. Indra gave her the thunderbolt. All of these gods' weapons in her 18 hands, in her full glory, she entered the battlefield when the demon Mahisha, Mahishasur, tried to engage with her in battle. She fought relentlessly and in this form as Katyayani, dressed in her green robes, in her many splendor, she destroyed Mahishasur, known as Chandika, or in parts of India, Mata Bhavani. This is her most fierce form and one of the most beautiful forms of what we women worship. Goddess Katyayani resides in the chakra right in the center of the two eyebrows known as the Jnana Chakra and the point of concentration. The planet she controls is Brihaspati and Jupiter. She is known to love the golden sapphire. With all her energies and qualities, young women pray to her to have the correct spouse and so it is believed Sita, Radha and many others pray to the goddess Katyayani in all the temples and in all her forms. So to this beautiful goddess Bhavani Chandika Manisha Maldini, who rides the Simha lion in all her forms as she prays, we offer our prayers to her on this day to give all us women the energy to be her form when required so that when demons like Rakta Beach drop their blood and keep coming up as more demons, may we have the energy to destroy them and not allow one drop of blood and a second to create the monsters that we do see even in today's day and age. Om Devi Katyayani Namaha Om Devi Katyayanyai Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Katyayani Rupena Samastita Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha
Namaskar. On the seventh day, Kalaratri, the goddess, who is worshipped Saptami today, we pray to her as she adorns her grey attire and she who is the queen of the night and emerges from the night, the time just before dawn. She who controls the planet Shani, Saturn, who is in her fiercest form with a saber and a hook in her hand. We offer her jaggery on this day and the beautiful plant Krishna Kama. She who is known to be fierce in this form as one of her fiercest forms. All people who worship and pray to her on this day are told that your focus and energy is to be at its greatest point as this goddess who controls the planet Shani, who rules Friday, Shukra, is also bowing to her. Every, all the nine planets which surround her on this day, bow down to this goddess. She is known with the mantra today, the Bija mantra, as Om Aim Rim Kli Chamundaye Vichye, which comprises all feminine forces with the universal sound of Om, Aim for Goddess Saraswati, Rim for the Goddess Lakshmi, Klim for the Goddess Parvati, and all these feminine forces come together in her known today as Shubhankari, one who is the giver of good fortune. She was created today, again, when all the gods needed someone to destroy the demons and ignorance around. So she is known as Chamundi, as she destroyed Chanda and Munda in the battlefield, who were the generals of other demons, Nishumbha and Shumbha. With her being in this beautiful form, Kalaratri, she removed her look of being golden in color and adorned herself as the dark knight. And as Kalaratri, she rides the donkey, where she says all animals are important. And why is this hardworking donkey not been given any importance? She also controls envy, Irsha, and she resides in the crown chakra of the body, known as Sahasrara, with all those who meditate and pray to her in this state, also have to realize that we look at this energy and power for all women on this day to find the Kala Ratri within oneself and to be able to handle all that is around. Kala Ratri is known as one whose tongue is red because she has drunk the blood of all the demons and she takes back what she creates. But in this fierce form, she is also very, very giving with the Varda and Abhaya Mudra to her devotees and to that Chamundi and to that Kalaratri Ma, we all bow down to on Saptami. Om Devi, Kala Ratrai Namaha Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Kala Ratri Rupena Samasthata Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha Ashtami, the eighth form of Devi Durga. On this day, the eighth day of Navaratri, we offer our prayers and offerings to Mahagauri. Mahagauri, the goddess, is adorned, known as Shvetambari, but on this day, we celebrate the color pink and purple. She is seen always as eternally 16. Her age remains 16 and in this beautiful form of hers she adorns herself with the weapons. She has a tambourine and she has the discus, the conch. She also has the hand that blesses 
and she is eternally peaceful. As the 16-year-old daughter of the Himavan Mountains, she is known as the white one, Gauri, the very fair one, the very, very fair because it is believed the Ganges, which flows from the locks of Shiva, descended and created an effect of the crystal whiteness within her. The planet that controls Mahagauri is Rahu, known as the northern lunar node where the moon orbits the earth. In this beautiful form, she is known as perfection as she shines. Traditionally, she rides a white bull or sometimes a white elephant. This goddess is seen in her Sundari form or the eternally Shaudasha Varshe, 16 year old. The most terrifying planet, Rahu, as controlled by her, as Rahu is known as Ardhakaya Mahavidya Chandraditya Vimardanam Simvika Garbha Samukam Tam Rahu Pranamamyaham. So, as we pray to the planet Rahu as well, it is Mahagauri who controls all of that. And on this beautiful Ashtami day, we offer our prayers to Om Devi Mahagauryai Namaha. Eighth form of Sundari, the goddess Mahagauri. Om Devi Mahagauryai Namaha. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Ma Mahagauri Rupena Samasthita Namastasya 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 Namo Namaha. The goddess Durga in her ninth form at Navmi is known as Siddhi Datri. She adorns herself in the color green and she's seated on a lotus or the lion. In this beautiful form, Siddhi Datri appears to her devotees in the form with Shankha, Conch, Chakra, the discus, Gada, the mace and the lotus in her hand. This goddess is known to be giver of siddhis or supernatural powers and it is believed that the world was in darkness and as there was a ray of light it was the form of Siddhidatri, the goddess. She gave birth to Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. She endowed each of these gods with the powers and said, you are the creator Brahma, you are the preserver Vishnu, and you are the destroyer of ignorance, Shiva. Siddhi Datri, her favorite flower and offering is the Champa, as she's also very fond of sesame seeds. So on this ninth day, everyone prays to this goddess who controls the most fierce planet, Ketu, the southern mode, the southern node of the moon who is the headless Ketu. Ketu is worshipped as one of the nine planets and is known as Palasha Pushpa Sankasham Tarakagraha Mastakam Raudram Raudratmakam Goratam Ketu Pranamamyaha. And so she controls this planet, but she's also known for her eight Siddhis or the supernatural powers that she has granted Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and the deities as she created the universe around her. The powers were Anima, which is as tiny as an atom, Mahima, to be great, Garima, weightless, being heavy in weight, Lagima, weightlessness, light, along with that, Vashvita, one who will give the leadership qualities and she was known for that. She 
knowing as Vashvita could subjugate all Ishitva leadership to anyone. Prapti, she is omnipresent like the Devi that she is, the giver of light and one who gives desire and can change herself into any form that she wishes. She who is Prapti, Prakambya, all these eight Siddhis of the Goddess in her ninth form as Siddhi Dhatri is who we worship on the last day of Durga Puja because all the energies of the Goddesses are within the Divine Mother in the form of Siddhi Dhatri who resides on the Lotus. To that Goddess, we welcome her. Om Devi Siddhi Dhatriyari Yamaha On this day, again on the last day of Dhamni, which is the ninth day of the Devi, I see the beautiful form again, which resonates with today's woman. She is the mother, the giver of light, she created the cosmic universe. But, giving birth to Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, the creator, the preserver and the destroyer of ignorance, she also, as the mother, gave them their supernatural powers with all the Siddhis. And yet, she is the omnipresent all around with these supernatural powers. And she also gave them their wives where she cloned her own image from Durga to being Saraswati for Lord Brahma, Lakshmi for Vishnu and Parvati for Shiva. So each of these forms makes me realize it is the eternal feminine Shakti. The Maha Shakti is Siddhi Dhatri and in this form we worship her but it is to remember the energy again in each woman and to celebrate that as Ma Shakti, wife and yet not just Adi Shakti. She is in this form Ardhanarishwar. She made Shiva the Ardhanarishwar as she appeared on his left side as Siddhadati. So she was the giver of Siddhis or supernatural divine powers to all the deities. Shubha Navaratri. Om Devi Siddhi Datrai Namaha Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Ma Siddhi Datri Rupena Samastata Namastasyai 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 Namo Namaha Dashami marks the end of Durga Puja or the nine days that we have worshipped Adi Shakti, Parvati, Chamundi, Amba, Ambika in all her beautiful nine forms. But on Dashami, we celebrate the victory of good and the destruction of evil. This is a day of great joy and festivities and even our two great epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharat, are celebrated because it is again good over evil. The goddess Durga is seen on this day with none other than 18 arms. Her 18 arms are the 18 Shastras and different weapons that are given to her by the deities to destroy Mahishasur, the demon. The culmination of the nine days from where it starts from the sixth day, Shashti, where she takes the form as the warrior. And on that, the culmination of the tenth day, where she destroys all the obstacles in the path and gives freedom from ignorance. We celebrate this all over India, and it is a festival of culture, food, fun, prayers, focus on all the different chakras and the energy that is released. It is a very big festival, of course, in Bengal, but all over India it is celebrated where by 
The goddess Durga is made with different clay images, which are again biodegradable. She is submerged in the waters as it is believed that she is, it is a big send off for her. But even the creating of those images in clay are made with certain rules and shastras from the Vishwakarma Shastra. So everything about this, these nine days and the culmination of the 10th days, there is a lot of rituals, but a lot of sentiment that goes with it, which is so appealing in this day and age. When we celebrate nature, vegetation, we celebrate the Shami tree, which is where in the Mahabharat, it is believed the Pandavas had hidden their weapons and on that particular day when their 13th year was over, they took it out and the twang of Arjuna's bow, the famous twang, is what was heard all over and he destroyed several people in battle. It is on this day that the ten-headed demon, Ravana, who of course represents lust, greed and all the negativities, he was destroyed by Lord Rama who prayed on the days before he left for Sri Lanka to defeat Ravana who had kidnapped Sita, he prayed to the goddess Aparajita, the victorious Devi, Parashakti, and that is the one we celebrate on Vijaya Dashmi. The word Vijaya also is another name for Arjuna, and Arjuna is believed to be on this day the true warrior, not compared to anyone, not even Karna, because he won in battle against Karna on this particular day. In the Ramayana, as we said, it is Lord Rama who had victory destroying Ravan on this day. It is on this day that the goddess who had taken a form from the sixth day onwards and was battling for these nine days the, the demon, the bison demon Mahishasur, who had managed to get a boon from Lord Brahma to never to be destroyed by any man. Well, there's always something that the gods can do. And so Devi came into being as Mahashakti with all the Siddhis in her. And he never said not to be destroyed by any woman. So he was destroyed and slain on this day. And so we celebrate Vijaya Dashmi all over with uh, tents are set up and prayers are offered dance dramas, skits are played, and it is a day where all students bow down to their teachers, kings and queens and kshatriyas, pray to the Shami tree, to, they pray to their weapons. It is a day when every person prays to every instrument that they work with. So with that, Vijay Dashmi marks the end of the nine days of Durga Puja. And on the 10th day, with all the celebrations from Mahabharat to the Ramayana, our two great epics, to the commencing period of Diwali, where the celebrations soon begin. Shubha Navaratri to all and to the great goddess who blesses all with her Shakti.